Hello and welcome to Friday Thrift Finds. In today's episode, I'll show you a new to me thrift store called Hidden Treasures. It's in St. Anthony, Minnesota, and it was recommended to me by a fellow YouTube creator and one of my subscribers, um, Heartland Thrifter. So if you haven't checked out her channel, you definitely should. I'll link it below. Uh, it was a great little thrift store and they had good prices. And the day that I went, yellow tags were 90% off, which to me is essentially free. So let's go ahead and see what I found. Here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what I found at Hidden Treasures in St. Anthony, Minnesota. So the first thing I got was this little milk glass mug. It's like a little coffee cup. I don't know that it's marked. Let me see. Oh, it is marked. <gasps> Look at that. It's Fire King. Oh, I, oh, there it is. Fire King. Maybe that's focusing, maybe not. You can kind of see it. So that was 99 cents. Thought that was cute. And then I got, oh my goodness, it's so little. I mean, it's really non-significant. It was 49 cents, but I just love it. It says Hall Made in USA, and I adore the color. It's just a little, I don't know, is this a ramekin? Is this a custard bowl? I really don't know. You guys can tell me, because I usually get it wrong. <laughs> and that's fine, I'm okay with that. So I like to know the right names, if anyone has a guess. Is it a ramekin? Is it a custard cup? I don't know. Anyway, but it's really cute and I will be using it in decor. So it almost doesn't matter, right? Um, so that was uh, 49 cents. Then if you remember last week, I showed you that little Avon piece. It was blue and it had a lid and I said there's a bowl and pitcher that also exist. Well, here is the bowl and now I'm just on the hunt for a pitcher and that was 99 cents. And again, I think these prices were so good compared to Goodwill. Like so many things were 99 cents, which is very different than the Goodwills in my area. So that was really good. So 99 cents on that. Then I got this, which I think is a juicer, like for orange juice, maybe. I'm not sure. You can tell me it's pointy. I'm not going to use it for that. I just, I like wooden tools to set on some of my tiered 
trays in my decor in my kitchen and my dining area. So that's what I will be using it for. Um, but you can let me know if that's what you think it is. And that was 49 cents. 49 cents. You never find anything at Goodwill for 49 cents unless you're there on a 75% off day. Okay, and then I got, now these are for you, one of you. I got these, I'm gonna put them in my giveaway, um, which I'm gonna show this video on Friday, which means you've probably already seen the giveaway, but that's okay. So anyway, this is for the giveaway. These are milk glass, and I've only, I saw, I tried to find them on um, Etsy, and I saw one set, someone was selling for $15. It's just a creamer and pitcher, but I thought it was so different. No, different than the things you normally see that person in their listing said they're from the 40s I have no idea um, when they're from they are not marked I don't think nope they do not appear to be marked and they're 99 cents a piece so one of you will have these for your own so there you go I just thought they were cute and different and a nice addition because I know a lot of you like milk glass. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then I got this. It was $1.99 and it does have a defect, this like drip of glaze. But I just really loved the strawberries. You know, I'm collecting strawberry items to go in my summer decor, my 4th of July stuff. And it was only $1.99. And so I thought, ah, you know what? I like rustic things. It's fine if it's not perfect because I really liked this a lot. So I'm going to use that and probably put some wooden um, utensils in it or something in one of my displays. So that was $1.99. Then I got, oh, this is so cute, a salt and pepper shaker. Now, if you remember, I already had a teapot. I mentioned that in one of my very early hauls that my uncle, when my great uncle, when he passed away, um, my family had owned a store in North Jersey. And so when he passed away, that's when all the things from the store, because he lived in the building, I think, that the store was in. And so when he passed away and his place got cleaned out, that's when all the rest of their the stuff from the store um, got kind of doled out to family. And somehow, I don't know how, I wound up with a teapot. It must have gone to my mother and then to me. I, I don't really know, I don't remember. But I have a teapot that looks very similar. It's from Japan and has this orange and like, I don't know if that's periwinkle or whatever color, it's kind of iridescent. And so, in an earlier haul, I think I got a creamer or sugar thing, and then I also have a little soap dish. So I got these because they go with the set. So I'm just picking up pieces as I find them. I've never seen a salt and pepper set. Oh, and you can see they say made in Japan. They're in really good shape. They don't appear to have any cracks or chips or anything, which is that my teapot is actually chipped and glued back together, but that's fine because I, I'm never getting rid of it. So anyway, so those were $1.99. Okay, now we'll move on to my 90% um, off items. So here we go. So I got this salt and pepper shaker. One of them is a little, well, they both, no, one of them is kind of, um, you know, deteriorated, rusty a little bit. But they're so cute. They're just tiny. They're going to be adorable in a little display. And they originally had them marked at $1.99, which I don't think they're worth because of that, you know, kind of whatever you want to call that. Corrosion. That's the word. The corrosion or rust on the bottom. But for $0.19, cents, I thought they were really cute and would look really cute in a display somewhere because they're so tiny. I mean, they're just so little. So very cute. I don't know if you can even, like, grasp how tiny they are. I'll show you. I'll try to show you. Ah, I'm, I'm being attacked by scotch tape. Oh my goodness. Okay. So anyway, I'll hold it back here. Maybe it's not. Um, so, so they're tiny. Hmm. I also got this, which was four cents. I mean, why even bother, right? And I'm probably going to paint it and put like a word on it, you know, something, some kind of crafty farmhousey cottagey thing that I will put in my house, but for four cents, I was not gonna leave it there. I could also use it as a tray if I, I could put handles on it. I mean, tons of things you could do, and when it's essentially free, why not? That was four cents. And then the last item, these were nine cents. I actually haven't even opened the bag, so I'm sorry for the crinkling, but um, I just thought they were really cute. There are two little girls with muffs. 
I think they're the same ones. I don't know. They were probably originally intended to be painted, but I like them just as they are. I think they are the same. Let me see. Oh, they're not the same. They're not the same. One is a little girl with a gift. <gasps> These are even cuter than I realized. Oh my goodness. So one has a muff and one has a Christmas gift. Oh, those are so cute. Oh my goodness. I really love them now. So there you go. For nine cents, those will be adorable at Christmas time in one of my Christmas displays. Very, very cute. So, okay. So that is all that I have for you today. That's what I found at Hidden Treasure, uh, Hidden Treasures Thrift Store in St. Anthony, Minnesota. Um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these items with me. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And um, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Have a great day.